one or the other Kabbalah secrets is that matter can be transferred molecule by molecule by incantation and thought and that the structure of reality is really a holographic illusion. They have this Kabbalism knowledge of how to control energy and how to manipulate light. In other words, they know how to manifest deceit, the art of lying and deception, sexual deprivation, mind control of the masses through religion, political and intellectual institutions, subliminal programming of sigils, language and the number system, how to manipulate matter one molecule at a time, hiding mathematical equations in architectures and art like anti-gravity, how to keep the population in a constant state of panic and terror, the secrets from ancient mystery schools, coded messages, divide and rule, magic, alchemy, incantations and the control of thought from entities and much other occult knowledge which is used to this very day. Well, it says like for example in Ephesians 2, 2 that Satan is the prince of the power of the air and so it makes sense that he would perform deceptions in the air with apparent flying objects to destroy belief in Christ's revelation. A lot of people are going to believe they either created us and they'll teach us the true revelation of God, that it's not from anything we have on earth because they're so advanced, they're going to give us the real key. It's not going to come from anything on, earth, on our earth because we're not as advanced as they are. They have a lot more knowledge and they're, they're going to give us the real key. And then just the other idea is that maybe they, quote, seeded the planet. Right. And they created us. They are our creators. And that's what you see in these messages from these um, demons, really, the so-called aliens that they give to people who consider themselves walk-ins or messengers or receiving messengers from demons. The common message is Jesus Christ was not God. All of you are God. Um, Jesus was a great teacher. He taught you some truth. We will give you the full truth. And so it leads a person where they're sort of on the edge of their seat once they get into this that we're on the brink of receiving first contact because we can see more and more sightings as you know and we're going to have that first contact and then we're going to know everything actually the components needed for life to exist on earth are actually incredibly rare and so many things actually have to happen that they feel that it doesn't exist anywhere in the universe but I would say in addition to that if there were intelligent life on other planets who possess the equivalent of man's soul it would demean if not eliminate the uniqueness of Christ's redemption that's because the Son of God specifically assumed a human nature in order to redeem man